Hello, I'm Anne Uwawadu. Here's a Channel TV evening news recap for February the 25th, 2020. The Federal High Court in Abuja has sentenced the former National Publicity Secretary of the People's Democratic Party, Mr. Olisa Meitu, to seven years in prison. Justice Okun Abeng handed down the sentence after finding Mr. Meitu guilty of seven counts of money laundering and criminal diversion of funds to the tune of 400 million naira. Mr. Meitu has been taken to the Nigeria Correction Service, where he will serve all the sentences concurrently from today. Away from the court, the Speaker of the House of Representatives is warning that the House will not accept extrajudicial killings, harassment, intimidation and other forms of violence unleashed on innocent citizens by some men of the Nigeria police. In a statement, Mr. Femi Bajabiamila condemned the killing of Remo Stars football club defender Tiamiu Kazim in Shagamu, who state allegedly by the police. Meanwhile, the Inspector General of Police has ordered the media disbandment and scrapping of the 12 zonal intervention squads across the country as part of the ongoing reforms aimed at repositioning the police for service delivery. The decision is coming days after a 28-year-old Remo Stars football club defender, Tiamiu Kazim, was killed. On the international scene, Egypt's former longtime president, Hosni Mubarak, is dead. Mr. Mubarak died on Tuesday at Cairo's Galar Military Hospital at the age of 91. He had long been battling an illness and recently been admitted to an intensive care unit before his death. Adding sports, former heavyweight world champion Deontay Wilder says that he will definitely exercise his right to an immediate third fight with Tyson Fury. Under terms of the deal for the rematch, both sides had the right to invoke an immediate third fight, regardless of the result, with Fury taking 60% of the fight price. And that's the Evening News Recap. Don't forget to join us tomorrow for fresh updates. Thank you for watching. I'm Anne.